Hello everybody, welcome to another very exciting tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can create this cool animation. Uh, it's a bit of a CSS and, and uh, HTML, uh, but we don't have any JavaScript, which is cool in this sense. Uh, so let's get started. Um, I'm going to go back and create a new uh, prototype. So I'm just going to go to my profile and go create a new prototype right here. Um, going to kotus.com slash codenest, obviously. So what I need to do, I will create as always a div with a class container since I want to center it in the page. Now, as you could see in here, we gonna we have actually one, two, three, and also three kind of shadows. Uh, that we need to desi design. So I'm going to create a um, arc sort of class, a div with class arc, but we know we have six of them, so I'm just going to multiply it by six, right? So now I have an arc class that I have over here. And then based on the um, sort of circles that we have here, I'm going to name them respectively. So I'm just going to create a small one, and by small, I mean this one and then you know medium and then large one so here uh, in my code I'm gonna say this one is a small one this one is medium one uh, this one is large one and then I also create a small medium right and then large uh, that's the only thing I need for the markup now in the CSS section what I want to do is basically try to uh, style those. So uh, in order to do that, let's style our arc. That's the main class that we use over here. I perhaps can change the layout to this so we can see both of these at the same time. So in the arc, I just want to make sure that the position is absolute um, because I should uh, be able to freely transform them. I want to give it a border radius of 50% and then uh, this is this is the most important part in order to create these kind of things these are not backgrounds these are really borders uh, of a div so having the border radius to be 50 percent I can just define a border to be 10 pixel solid and maybe like I'm just going to give it the same color but you can definitely use a different color so now you can see that the border ha is 10 pixel uh, with as you can see over here and the next thing I want to do um, uh, I I mean this is great I just have a, an arc without any width and height uh, because I want to change the width and height using these selectors but I just wanted to set the border to be 10 pixel solid and the color that I want now I can just go ahead and style the uh, elements that I have over here. I'm going to start with the small ones. So I'm just going to give it the width of 40 pixel and then height of 40 pixel, right? So that will be my initial starting circle. Uh, the next thing I want to do, uh, I definitely want to make sure that uh, I do it for the medium one, which is medium and then basically medium one. I just gonna check the width to be twice as the previous small one. So let's say 80 pixel. And I basically use the same thing for the height. So I just give it the same height. So now you can see that we have a bigger pixel over here. And the next thing I wanna do, uh, I wanna make sure that I do it for the large ones well. So we have a large and large here. And I make sure that this is maybe 120 and 120. The only thing I need to center all of these in the center of the page, I can use left since they are already absolute position and top to be 50%. And then I can do transform, translate minus 50% and minus 50%, right? So now you can see that we actually have and this kind of shapes a small circle, a medium one, and a large one. And there are actually two of each, but since it's position absolute, they are one uh, over the other one. Um, now, what I want to do, I just want to make sure that we change the color of the one that is before, behind it. As you can see here, the, the sort of three arcs behind this 
dark blue one have a really a different light color to them and in order to do that I'm just going to go here and I change the small one because th those ones are uh, behind the actual tree that we see over here so I just want to make sure that small one has a, a border top color or border color of um, a lighter kind of um, so a lighter uh, a lighter color uh, of blue uh, you can't see it right now the only way you could see it if, is if I set the display to none on the small one but uh, I think we can trust this I do the same thing for the medium and then the large one so I do medium and then I do the large one so these are the sort of arcs behind. Now, how do I create the arc itself? I told you that I defined the border over here. The trick to that is changing the border to, uh, because we only want to have the top one. So I just want to say border um, border left color to be transparent, right? Uh, let's let me just correctly. Now you can see that it actually removes, or not removing, but making the left border to be transparent. And since uh, we have defined like border radius 50, that's what we get over here. Um, I can do the same thing uh, for uh, the other border. So border right color to be transparent, right? And then I can do the same for border bottom color to be transparent as well right so now you can see that the arc itself has these border colors but one mistake we made is we defined a border color for the for these ones but instead we need to say border top color border top color and then border top color so now you can see that we get the shape that we wanted inside here. So the last step is to be able to animate these. And the way we do that, I'm just going to create a keyframes uh, rotate. And then I would say on 0%, let me maybe perhaps change the font size to a bigger one so that you can see it more easily. I'm going to switch it to this uh, layout so that I can have a better room space over here. And I'm just going to do this so you can see it in the middle of the page. So on 0%, I don't want anything to happen. But on 30%, I want to make sure that the transform is translate minus 50% and minus 50%. Uh, I just want to keep it that way because that's the or So basically, what happens is that it will translate it to whatever it is. So we don't lose this transform translate that we originally defined here. And on 100%, I just want to, you know, having that translate in place, so I just can copy this because we need to preserve that original translate. I just want to rotate this 360 degrees, right? Just like that. And now we have a rotate animation. The next thing we want to do, we want to come in the arc and, and sort of assign that as an animation to our arc. So rotate, let's say two seconds. Uh, so you can see that we already have this animation that we want. I can make it infinite so that you can actually see uh, this kind of animation, right? But the, the next thing I want to do is actually making sure that I get this effect that I see over here. And in order to do that, as you all know, we just need to define some sort of an easing. So it kind of come back a little bit, goes forward and comes back again. And you can see that in Kotus, we have kotus.com easings. Uh, and here you can see a different, different types of easings that you can apply um, right here. So you can apply different kind of easings over here. So for example, one of the easings is just like that. See, it goes back a little bit and it comes forward. And you can see the actual code that generates that timing function. So I'm just going to copy this, going back to our uh, setup. And then here, I just need to add that, right? So now 
you can see that if I remove this, now you can see that it kind of goes back and then rotates, right? That's how cool this animation is. The next step is just to add a little bit of a delay to the actual background arc so that you can see both of them together. So I can come here for the small one. I can just say animation delay, perhaps something like 0 0.08 seconds. I copy this. You can see already that there is like a small little on the small one. Then I can go here. I can change this one to perhaps like 10. And then I can check the other one on the large one. I can make it to 14. Just like that. So now you can see that you have this very cool follow up animation. Uh, it first has this cool going back and then rotate and also it kind of the, the sort of background also kind of with the delay follows the same pattern. You could see that you can easily create these cool animations only using CSS. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, please like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. Let us know what you think about all these and if you enjoyed this tutorial, uh, we will have you next time in the next tutorial. Have a great day and night and goodbye.